Hey guys, what's going on? This is Pants R Dragon, and today I want to be talking about patch 6.4 and the things that I want you guys to look out for in terms of, say, meta shifts, masteries, changes, potential champions that might be OP, and just looking at the big things that might appear in the next patch. This is also like a reiteration of that patch rundown I used to do, but in a different form. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did like this video, make sure to leave a like, as that means I'll be doing it for the next patch. Also, shout out to my boys from Pro Guys. I highly suggest you guys check them out for all your ranked games this season. And so with all that being said, let's get started. Alright, so first up we're going to be talking the changes that are happening to Caitlyn. So in this patch, they're going to be making Caitlyn players prioritize maxing W second instead of E because people were confused on what to max out second. So now there's more incentive to max out W. But the W changes are really interesting as it seems to give Caitlyn a lot of power on her traps when someone walks on it. Because now not only does it do a headshot, it does base damage plus 0.7 of your attack damage. Um, so you do a headshot plus base damage plus an AD ratio, that's kind of, uh, hmm, a little broken. In fact, I got so curious to see if this was actually happening on the PBE, and look at this, this is actually so insane. I just did a bunch of damage at level 1 with just my traps. Like, here's a clip of a regular headshot, and as you can see, it does 94 damage, while a trapped headshot does 165 damage. So, um, um, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, but this is a pretty broken change because those traps now are actually very risky to go on, and I bet you're gonna see a lot of Caitlyn's playing around the traps and some combos like Blitzcrank plus Caitlyn's trap and just destroying the bottom lane or destroying the mid game and late game and zoning people off objectives. Now, I know I talk a lot of shit about Caitlyn in the past, but with this change, I actually believe she's gonna be a very high top tier AD carry. Hell, you might even see people maxing out W on her first. Um, maybe not, but who knows. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is the Sivir changes. Now what they're doing to Sivir in this patch is they're giving her W the ability to critically strike. Now this definitely buffs her mid game and late game, but I don't actually think Sivir is too much of a bad champion right now. And with this change, I can see it definitely sparking some interest from players who want to try her out again. And then she might become meta, although I would say maybe it's like a 30% chance because the preseason nerfs did hurt her a lot to the point where she's not really being played as much or at all but now she has been minorly buffed two times since the preseason. And so I'm definitely keeping an eye on her in this patch because of this buff. Next up, we're going to be talking about the boots. So in this patch, Boots of Swiftness got a little minor nerf. The movement speed is now 60 instead of 65, in which it was in Season 5. So now it's basically the Season 5 boots, just 100 gold cheaper. But since these boots are getting nerfed and were nerfed in the last patch too, you'll see a lot of other boots being purchased now instead of just Swiftness all the time. Like, especially myself, I'm going to start buying Ninja Tabi when I actually need it instead of just Swiftness all the time. And also in this patch, Mercury Treads actually got a buff to its tenacity, where it's now 30% instead of 20. Now no one bought these boots because because in the preseason they actually nerfed it where they put the tenacity to 20% but now they you know buffed it again and it's a little bit cheaper so it's definitely an item worth considering now. So expect to see a lot less swifties and to see like other boots appearing again. Next up we'll be talking about the Warlord's Bloodlust. So this is just getting a big rework and now attacks on champions gain increasingly more lifesteal based on your missing health. For a more accurate representation, I got this picture from the PBE notes, and at 10% missing health, it gives you 1 life steal, 50% missing health gives you 8% life steal, and at 80%, it gives you 20 life steal. Now this only works on champions and half the minions, but I can see this Keystone Mastery being used on ADCs who don't rely a lot on auto attacks or Thunderlords, so like Ezreal, Caitlyn, Jin, etc. And maybe it might appear on some champions in the top lane like Olaf or something, but basically for ADCs, you might see a variation between Thunderlords for River Battle and Warlord. Bloodlust now, but I could be wrong, maybe a high chance of being wrong, and it might be underpowered. We'll just have to see if it is noticeable on AD carries at all. One champion I can see it being really good on it might be Riven, because she likes to fight people, you know, in low health usually, and she's got that shield for durability when she's about to die. Next thing you want to look out for is Exposed Weakness. It's a new mastery, well, old mastery coming back in the game, and it's going to power up some offensive supports since it does increase 3% damage coming from all allies. So expect to see if they have not already going 12 points into ferocity. Also do note that this mastery does not increase your own damage, only your allies. It used to do that in season 4, but it stopped working somewhere around season 5. 
Next up, I'm going to be talking about Kogma. So in this patch, he actually got what I thought was a big nerf, but it's not actually that big of a nerf when I looked kind of more in-depthly into it. The base attack speed went from 0.665 to 0.625. To demonstrate what it's going to look like after, I compared 6.3 Kogma to Azir, who is going to have the same stats as Kogma in 6.4. And as you can see, you only need 23% more attack speed to cap out at max attack speed. So it's not too big of a nerf, but 24% attack speed costs 600 gold. So the Depending how you look at it, it's a pretty decent nerf. But the thing is, Kogma is now maxing out W and E only, doesn't have to put a point in Q. So what I think is going to happen to Kogma is he's going to transform from being OP to a decent AD carry. Or he might just be flat out bad, but I think he's still going to be a decent AD carry. Anyways, that is it for this video. Those are my six things to watch out for in this patch. The biggest change you're going to have to be looking out for is Caitlyn for sure. And comment below on what your favorite change about patch 6.4 is. My favorite change of patch 6.4 is, even though I didn't talk about in the video, Shen can now shadow dash on monsters so i'm gonna have a better time in the jungle with shen and yeah that is gonna be my favorite thing and thank you guys for watching this video make sure to leave a like if you did like this video and to subscribe for more feature videos like this and i am Penta dragon and i'll see you guys next time